putting other way so how your mind should think is so you have to form a sum or the result the result should be of a type string only string can hold a very large character length correct so result is of string you compute the sum in integer you concatenate that to a string hello all welcome back to uncommon geeks myself asant i hope you all doing well as you know this is a video series where we are discussing about most recent mang interview question where mang refers to meta apple amazon netflix and google and here uh, this is a part 2 of the question uh, where in the part 1 we have discussed a very very important question if you don't know what is the question this is the one so in part 1 i have already explained what is the question and what are the sub elements required to solve that question okay now this is a part 2 where we actually read the solution so if you are someone who have not seen my previous video and directly landed in this video then i would highly advise please go ahead and watch the previous video and come to this the reason being all the technicalities of the question or all the crux of the question already explained in the previous video here we will write only the code so if you landed landed directly in this video it will be slightly difficult for you to understand everything okay so link i'll put somewhere on the screen also in the description section okay so you already know the problem so given a function where you pass two strings and that string could be a potential number so you convert that into a number add it to a number and return the result okay that's what you have to do so we have already seen what are the problem that happens with a very large numbers so how to tackle that so i there are a lot of solution that are available on the web okay i have picked one of the most easiest approach i think and with a most efficient solution okay obviously you may come up with some other solution which is efficient than me if you if if you come so please do mention that in comment section so i will try to link that in the video description also so that somebody get more benefited so but whatever i know for the best when the time of this recording i am adding that solution here so my solution is very very primitive solution okay which we did in our kgs or in the very primary schools so where whenever you have to add two numbers something like this if you, what you would have done is you would have added first these two numbers 9 plus 3 12 so you would have written 2 which is in the unit digit and you would have given carry as 1 correct which is in the tens digit you would add these two 9 plus 1 and you will write 10 which stands for 1 not to 2 okay now whenever i write this solution something should strike in your mind okay so what is striking in your mind if you would have explained this to me i would have got one sense that the problem with this uh, whatever the question that is given to us is we cannot add two very large numbers in the in the max safe integer we cannot add two very large numbers so but we can add two numbers at some digits correct two numbers at at once which will never form a number which is greater than 18 so 9 plus below could be 9 9 plus 9 is 18 which easily a number can hold correct so that is a number one thought that i would come to my mind so second thought which will not come to our mind but we have to think in the direction so i'm just preparing you see whenever you're adding here this is all the addition what happens below is kind of a concatenation if you observe carefully 9 plus 3 is 12 given a carry as 1 9 plus 1 is 10 so 10 and 2 are concatenated if you observe carefully correct so putting other way so how your mind should think is so you have to form a sum or the result the result should be of a type string only string can hold a very large character length correct so result is of string you compute the sum in integer you concatenate that to a string so this is a thought process correct hope you got the thought process the reason i explain this is this something that should come to your mind whenever you have been interviewed okay now the second part is there is a basic division process so this is not related to the concept but i want you to know the difference between what the division operator does and what the modular operator does okay many of you would know just quick revision sorry for my drawing i am not that expert just i try to do something on the sketch okay so if you divide 18 by 10 so 18 is on the top 10 is in the bottom okay then 10 into 1 is 10 and we get 8 so quotient is 1 remainder is 8 so whenever you want the quotient you divide the number okay so 10 divided by 18 will give you 1 whenever you want the remainder which is 8 so 10 modulus 18 or sorry 18 modulus 10 will give you the 8 as the remainder i'm sorry yeah 10 modulus 18 only will give you um, 8 as the remainder 
Okay, these are the two things that I wanted to tell you. In case if I missed here explain something, I'll definitely explain that in the code again. So this is very essential for solving the problem. Okay. Now without wasting further time, let's get started and coding. Okay. So same example I'm extending. Okay. So if some of you might noticed in the last example, whenever I written right, so there was something called nine 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 nine. I added one. Correct. So it was the output was something like this. Followed by n. Some of you might have noticed, wasn't you? You did not explain that you are skipping something. No, n basically refers to begin is created by appending n to the end of an integer, literally 10 n, or by calling a functional begin. Basically, here appending n at the end refers to it has been a begin. That's it. Okay, nothing much. I have, the number was not truncated or nothing happened. Just n got added at the end. Okay, so now without wasting further time, let's get started with the coding. Okay, see before I start the coding. I just will have one call up. If you are someone who is seriously preparing for front end developer interview, I said this in my all videos. I know some of you might get annoyed, but my whole purpose of making this making this YouTube video series is to help someone to clear the interview. Okay, so I have created two beautiful series, one on most common JavaScript question and how to solve them. Another on the uh, custom implementation that are generally asked in the interview. So both of them, I'll link there right on the description also in the screen. Okay, so please go ahead and watch those videos and come to this video. Unless you have seen those videos, technically you may not come to level this much of a difficulty in the interview because nobody will ask you to write this solution if you don't know what are the basics itself. So watch the series also and then this series. Okay, please do that so that it will be helpful for your interview, not just for the mag, any other interviews as well. Okay, now so we have two numbers, number one and number two. Next, what I'll do is I have to get the length of the both the numbers. So number one and length. Okay, is equal to number one dot length okay then i will also do number two dot length okay why i am doing this is i should be calculating the sum till the length of the biggest number so in this case 99 i should be calculate i should run the loop twice correct so whichever the number is maximum till that length i will be running the loop okay max length is equal to number one dot length if it is greater than number two dot length then we'll consider number one dot length as a maximum number, correct? If not, we'll consider number two dot length as a maximum. See, I've come prepared for this video. I means I have written this solution a couple of times to make sure uh, I explain the things properly, but still there is a possibility I make a mistake. If I make a mistake, I'll try to correct that in the video itself so that you get benefited from the mistakes I do and do not repeat that in the interview, okay? Now, uh, like you know, there could be uh, a carry. Carry is required, correct? So where uh, we will be, we need to add the carry whenever there is a possibility of carry, correct? And we can also create another variable called sum. Okay, this is something that we will be concatenating. Remember the concatenation I said. Okay, now I'll run the loop till the length of the uh, max length, whatever the number that is big, I'll run the loop. There are solutions which convert a number in order where a top will be a bigger number and the bottom will be a smaller number. I have picked a generic approach. So whether you pass 3 comma 99 or 99 comma 3, the solution works the same way. Okay. Now here I need to extract the last numbers. Correct. So we can name it like last number one is equals to what I'll do is number one dot car it number one dot length minus i okay don't worry i'll explain this uh, once again okay and uh, last number two is equals to number two dot length okay i'll also explain why i'm putting a plus here okay so now before i go to the next step let me quickly explain this so this video is going to be slightly longer it may take more seven or eight minutes where i'll be explaining all the things so please stay tuned with me till the end do not skip any section because each and every point I explain is very very important not from the facebook point of view point of view of you learning the concepts very clearly okay so here number one dot caret number one dot length minus i okay so let's say in, let's take an example of 99 where you have to extract the last element correct so actually you shouldn't start the loop with i, you should start the loop with one. Okay, I'll explain why that as well and less than or equal to. So where number one dot length minus i, number one dot length is two in this case, correct? So two minus i, which is one, two minus one is one. So if you see 99, okay, so zero and one, zero is the index and one is the index. So you want to extract the last index first. So number one dot length, which is two. So two minus one is one. Okay, so you get the last number. 
So next time it will become again uh, i plus plus will become two. So two minus two, which is zero. So that points to this nine. Okay. So we are starting with one and not with the zero. Okay. So now you got um, uh, how to access the last numbers. So but we are trying to add three to here. Correct. So we are trying to add three. So three has a zero index, but three don't have the one index or the next index. Correct. Which this number has. In that case, what will happen is if you try to extract. The next index which doesn't exist. In that case, the caret caret I guess most of you would know will give a character at a particular uh, 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 index that you're passing. In fact, we have also written a custom implementation for caret. I'll try to link that on the screen also in the description. Please watch that uh, video also, which is very very useful. Okay, so we have uh, so caret will give in uh, whenever we pass index some empty string, just the empty string. So empty string with a unary plus will give you zero. Okay, so if there is no value in an index, adding zero doesn't hurt. So that is the purpose. So if you remember, I showed you unary operator with a empty string in the first video. That is because of this. Okay, so now we got the last number one and last number two. Okay, so then what I'll do? I'll calculate a temporary sum. Okay, let temporary sum is equal to last num one, last num two, plus the carry in case if carry exists. Okay, next. I'll write, then I'll explain. Don't worry. Okay, so carry will be temp sum divided by ten. Okay, if not, it is going to be a zero. Now temp sum is equals to temp sum mod ten. Okay, let me complete the code. Then I'll explain each and every step why I'm writing. Okay, so if i is equals to max length and there is a carry. Okay, we'll do some things if it is not then sum is equals to temp plus sum okay otherwise only thing that you do extra would be carry star 10 plus 10. see this is very very important code even a small misplacement will ruin your code you will not get the expected output okay so finally you would return the sum i'll explain the things step by step let's see whether we at least it is working fine or not okay Let sum sum is equals to ten plus sum. What was the error? Sum plus sum. So good that says there is some error. First, let me solve that. Then I'll explain this to you guys. Okay, there is no point explaining a wrong solution. Temp is not defined. I'm sorry. Most of you might have noticed and um, wanting me to correct it. So I'm correcting it. Okay. So ten ninety nine plus three one not it, which is wrong. So I'm sorry here number two dot length. Okay. So if I run this one or two, 99 plus three, one or two, which is correct. So maybe 999 plus one thousand. Let me just try all the combinations. Then we'll explain. Good. So it's working. Let's let's start with the extreme basic numbers only. Okay. 99 plus one, then probably we'll go to the bigger numbers. So you know how till here. Let me explain what is happening starting from here to here first. So we are calculating a temporary sum. That is temporary sum here refers to the sum of these two numbers. Okay, the whatever the sum that you are currently calculating. So where in this case the 99, 9 plus 1, which was 10, correct? Carry in the first place is 0, correct? So which which refers to temporary sum as temporary sum as 10. Okay. Now you already know what division returns and what modular returns, correct? So carry basically needs the 10th digit, correct? So 10 divided by 10, which is one, correct? So which will be one, carry will be one in this case. What temp, this one uh, or whatever the sum we want to show here, like what we show here is the, basically the reminder, correct? If you do the modulus operation, you would get this reminder. So what we have done is temp sum mod 10, which will be zero, correct? Reminder is nothing, 10 mod 10, 10 ones are 10, so reminder is zero. So temporary sum is zero here, correct? So then what we'll do, technically if you look at this example, so not here, if you just look at here, uh, 99 plus one, in the 10th digit we'll have zero only, correct? Nine plus one is 10, and you will have a plus one here, which will make it again 10, correct? So which is as per the requirement how we are doing, okay? So now we got the carry, carry in this case is one, temporary sum is again uh, truncated into a value of zero. So sum is equal to temporary sum plus sum. Sum is an empty string here, 
correct so temporary sum is zero so zero plus an empty string is actually a zero in the form of a string okay so if you see zero plus i don't know whether it will work here uh, here it is not working so in the chrome inspect somewhere if you see zero plus an empty string is going to be a um, empty uh, zero in the string format so you concatenated that value so in the next iteration okay you have 99 plus one okay here it is one now you come to the next iteration where the element number one dot caret will point to this nine second number doesn't have a character at that length so it will be a zero okay so here it is a zero now nine plus zero plus the carry carry was one if you remember correct so nine plus zero plus one which points to ten correct so carry is equal to ten divided by ten which is actually one again correct and temporary sum is temporary sum mod 10 so 10 mod 10 again it is 0 correct so right now the whatever the output we have is uh, we have read the here if you come into the condition we are at the last correct so uh, right now the sum is equals to before starting this this one 0 and only 0 is there okay so temporary sum is also 0 so since we have read the last length and we do also have a carry correct so what is carry carry is 1 so 1 star 10 is 10 okay temporary sum is 0 correct so temporary sum is 0 sum is also a 0 which are both uh, this is in a string format of 0 so which will result in the value of 100 okay if in the last index there is no carry then you would just add it so there are cases like uh, probably 22 plus 44 okay 4 plus 2 is 8 and 4 plus 2 is 8, 88 okay in that case there is no carry correct in the last step so you don't have to multiply 10 and form a number and add it so we would right away get the sum itself which is 66 okay so this was the solution which i have picked somewhere on the web i did not write the solution on my own but i analyzed it and i break down into multiple steps and i figured out an easiest approach for you to solve okay among the multiple solutions that i read in the internet okay so let me quickly reiterate and end this video so add two numbers okay in, in fact, before I reiterate quickly, if you are liking the content that I'm making on the YouTube, please do like my videos on the YouTube and fo follow me on um, Medium. And do not forget to share these videos with your friends. Like the videos, okay? That all give me boost to make some more good content like this, okay? Yeah. Now, add two numbers. We are passing two numbers. I will I'll make. I will keep it very short. We get the length. We pick the maximum length of the number because loop has to run till the length, okay? Then what we do, we, we always try to get the last numbers in the sequence okay and last number means keep incrementing so first it will be four and two next you will increment to the next numbers okay then you add the numbers see if there is a carry if there is a carry you use it for the next uh, elements to add if there is no carry then by default carry will points to zero and you will be concatenating the number you will be concatenating the number and the sum whatever you have got okay so in this concatenation so first is actually a number temporary sum correct so temporary sum in this case is actually a um, will be a numerical value and this is a string value so whenever you add a numerical and a string value it is a string concatenation not a numerical concatenation okay so for example now one plus one in the double quotes will give you 11 not uh, two okay so that happens here so that as per our explanation also here if you see it should be a string concatenation and not the numerical concatenation numerical addition happens here this is a string concatenation so same is being performed here as well okay finally you are returning the sum so this can take any number any length number because at the end of the day you are just calculating two numbers whose maximum sum could be of 18 correct so that's all about this video okay i'll copy this code and put in my github repository you can copy take the code from there and practice on your own try other solutions also on the web and try to come up with the solution that is most feasible for you okay and the uh, this one whatever the complexity of this algorithm is very straightforward this is the length of the bigger number it is n okay so this could be according to me could this could be the easiest or the efficient approach that can be written okay now if you like this video please do like it on youtube channel do not forget to subscribe to uncommon geeks share the videos with your friends so that they get uh, motivated to learn these things because whenever it is asking the big companies they will also tend to learn it okay so thank you again catch you in the next video